Now, from tiny fish to the vastness of the universe, my next guest will be taking us into outer space, but not quite in the way that you might expect. For the majority of us who are unlikely to visit space, Marina has invented a surprising way for us to experience it. And that is Aram Atom. Marina, welcome to Summer Science Live, and Thank thanks for、much. joining me. Now, tell me about what this surprising way is. How can I experience space in the Royal Society today? Okay, so my special way to help you experience space is through your nose. Okay. So I'm very keen on making sure that people use all their senses when it comes to learning, and when it comes to something like space, it's so far away, so distant, and as you said. Most of us are never going to go there, so the only way we can experience it is through our senses here on Earth. And there's loads of images.、Um, there's there's even sounds from space.、Yes. But smell is something that, if you go out to space, you're not going to be able to smell because obviously you need to have a helmet on to be able to breathe. But the chemistry of space is out there. So what I have done is try to bring the chemistry of space. To Earth, so that we can smell it here and experience that dimension of space. But it's、um, almost it's beyond anybody's ability, really. That sounds so fascinating. So, what what have we got here in front of us?、Now? Okay, so what we've got here are three smells that I've chosen okay, for、yeah. you. So let me just get them here. I think that is Mars. We're going to go to the first one, which is the closest one to us. So this is. Um, something that mimics what we think the smooth. The, pardon, the, sorry, <laughs> my my、uh, Spanish is coming through. What the moon might smell like.、Mm -hmm. Now we have accounts from the Apollo astronauts、mm -hmm. telling us the smells that they experienced after they went out on their moonwalks, came back into the spacecraft. Okay, don't tell me what they、dust. said. I'm going to have a go, and、yeah. you can tell me. After I have a sniff, I, I won't tell you. But <laughs> so they've said things, and that's what I have tried to create、okay. in here. So before I tell you any more, I'm just going to let you smell it and yeah, see yeah. what you what you think. Hmm. I feel like it smells a little bit like peppery. Okay. Maybe a bit. I don't know, like after something's burnt in a room or something, maybe. What what was the astronaut's take on? Okay, so what you're smelling is something that thing that sort of tickles your nose,、yeah. and there's a smokiness to it as well.、Mm. And there's a reason for that. So the first one is the accounts of astronauts tell us that the majority of them agree that it smells something like spent gunpowder. So I've never smelled gunpowder, but. If you imagine the smell of fireworks after a big firework display, I was trying to capture something like that. However, when you look at the mineralogy of the moon, it wouldn't smell like that. The minerals that we find on the moon would be pretty much odorless. So the most you would get is maybe some form of mineral kind of note, like earthy note. So that's what I've done here. I've mixed the smokiness with the earthiness, which is what tickles your nose to、mm. give you also. That sensation of dust getting through your nostrils, like it would have happened to them. So that's what you were thinking. It kind of peppery, peppery because it tickles yeah, yeah, yeah. your nose,、yeah. and that's me trying to create a sensation of dust coming through your nostrils. That's amazing. So that's what you've got here. It's amazing that you can do that with like、It's、a、melt. few kind of chemicals, and yeah. yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. So that's the first one I've、Great. got for you. Fantastic. I have got the second one here. It's not not that one. This one here. So this is the smell of Mars. Now we obviously haven't sent any humans to Mars yet, but、uh, we do know a lot about Mars because we've been studying it for decades. So I'm going to let you smell this. See what you think. Hmm. This is very different. There's a kind of I don't know acidic sweetness、mm -hmm. type of thing. Yeah, it's it's almost like it's almost pleasant, but then a little bit unpleasant as、yeah. well. It's like I'm oh, I'm not quite sure if I like the smell or not. Okay,、um, probably I don't like it.、Um, And you are right. What you have here is a mixture of.、Um, What we call perfume notes that are metallic and kind of like rusty metal,、uh, very cool, 
And there's also um, the sweetness you're talking about. It's it's a kind of metallic sweetness. That's what I was trying it's to say. It's like there. blood. That's what it is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you think about Mars being orange, that's because it's covered literally in rust. Mm. <laughs> and so what I was trying to create with this is that smell of rust that we might find on the surface of Mars. But there is something else about Mars. Um, obviously, the, the smell of Mars will have changed through its history. And there was a period of time when Mars had a lot of active volcanoes and the smell would have been very different back then and that's the kind of smell that you might find in places like Venus as well or places like Io which is a volcanic moon that orbits Jupiter so I do have a surprise smell for you okay related to Mars but also to all these other places okay. that um, have volcanoes in them so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that one now Okay, I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Are you ready for I'm this? Ready. Okay, I'm I've ready. got it here. It's a secret thing that I've got here for Oh, you. gosh. Okay. Okay. Why is it in a plastic bag? Ah, well. <laughs> <laughs> so, with this is, very gently okay. approach it with your nose very, very gently. Don't get too close to it. Uh, and then it will probably hit you. Mm. Yeah, that's quite an unpleasant one. Yes. A so bit tarry, maybe? It's a bit tarry, yeah. but it's also very stinky. Yeah. Uh, if you've ever smelled a stink bomb, you have something similar in here. Okay, so, that's, so hence the Ziploc yeah, kind of Yeah, there's a little like, warning sign there <laughs> that my colleague put on there. And the reason we have this one is because... Um, if you think about volcanic gases, if you've ever been near a volcano, you may have experienced the smell of rotten eggs. So that's actually what you've got. That's in sulfur, there. isn't that's it? We sulfur. talked to Richie this morning, who was explaining um, what volcanoes smell like as well. Yeah. So that's that's what that is. So that's that was, intense. Yeah, that's very intense, and that's one of them that I don't normally have out because we don't want the whole place smelling <laughs> of rotten egg. And the last one I've got here that I'm going to give you is one of my favourite ones. Um, this is a smell that is related to not just the Milky Way, but mm. a specific molecular cloud near the oh. center of the Milky Way called Sagittarius B2. I can already smell it. So I feel like this has a little bit of that gunpowdery maybe yeah. kind of vibe, but also the sweetness. There's definitely like a sweet, I'm not gonna say rose, but it's, I don't know, there's some fruity. kind of flowery or fruity. fruity. Yeah. Sweetness to it. Fruity. Do you smell the sort of alcohol as well? Or like, oh, that's almost true. like, like nail a nice polish. cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is what I like to call mm. my space party smell. <laughs> and the reason, <laughs> so when you go out into deep space, there are, you know, so many molecules out there. Some of them don't have smell, like helium or hydrogen, but some of them do have smells. Some have horrendous smells, like hydrogen sulfide, rotten eggs, and all this are a bit nicer. And when we looked into this particular part of the Milky Way, we detected many things, including a molecule called ethyl formate. And ethyl formate captured the imagination of so many people, because it's a molecule that you find inside fruit on Earth. Okay. Yeah. And you find it inside raspberries. So next time you eat a raspberry, you can think you're eating a molecule that's in the center of the Milky Way. That's but in reality, a film form it does not smell like raspberries. It smells a little bit like nail, nail polish mm -hmm. and there's an alcoholic rum type of smell. So what I have done there is create a blend of raspberry notes with um, acetone and sort of nail polish type of notes and rum alongside the ethyl formate molecule to give you that space cocktail that you have at your space party at the center of the Milky Way. Oh, that sounds, it sounds like a fun party. Definitely yeah. one that I would love to join. Um, thank you so much, Marina. I mean, not only is the way you describe all of this so poetic and beautiful, but I really enjoyed smelling all this stuff and I feel like I've been on this stellar journey. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, Fran, what's changed at your end since I've been gone?